Hello everyone. And um, this is our fourth lecture in power electronics. And our topic for today is chopper. So what is chopper? Chopper is DC to DC converter. So we have a DC value voltage, let's say 120. So either we can bring it down, step down, or we can step it up. So we can have it less. So we have a fixed voltage and we can bring it to variable voltage, either down or up. If it's down, we call it buck. We use the buck chopper. And if it's up, we use the boosts. If we want to step up the volt, we use the boost. If we want to step down the volt, we use the buck. It's the same as the transformer and AC machines, but this is for DC. So DC to step up the bolt and step down the bolt we use choppers, either uh, bo either buck or boost or both buck and boost. But we're not covering buck and boost in this course. We are only covering both, which is buck and boost, because there is another chopper which is both. We mix both, but we're not covering this in this course. So we are covering only buck separate by itself and boost. Itself. Anyway, uh, we have three techniques to control the output voltage. Three techniques. So the first technique that we vary the T on while the big T is fixed. So this one here. Okay. This is the B D, which is the gate. This is the gate here. For the, for the MOSFET, okay? And those are the techniques, which is either pulse width modulation or pulse frequency modulation, okay? This one here, the duty cycle is 50%. Means if the TR is 50% of the big T, this is a cycle right here, this is one cycle. So if the switch is on for 50% of the time, we call it D, which is the duty cycle, is 0.5, which is 50% on. If this one here is up to here, means that the T on is 75%, means the duty cycle is 0.75. Okay, if the duty cycle is here, here, means that the T on, the switch is on for 25%, means the duty cycle is 0.25, okay? So this is here. Those are the two techniques. Either, either vary the T on while T, big T is fixed, and we call this pulse width modulation, pulse width modulation, or we vary the big T, or we can vary the big T, which is this one here. We can make this, same, we don't change the T on, we keep it the same, which is 50%, but we make T here, so it will be like this. Means we are varying the frequency. In this window right here, how many, now, in this window right here, how many cycles we have? We only have one cycle. But, if we play with the T, we can have here, if I make this square, takes one cycle, and this takes one cycle, and this takes, I can play with it, so I can have four cycles with no change in the duty cycle, while T on is the same, 50%. So we can play with the T. That's what, what they mean right here. That varying T, while T on is fixed, and we call this one pulse frequency modulation. So we play with the frequency, so in one window, instead of one cycle, we can have four cycles, and we can have 40 cycles. We play with it. Or we can use both. We can use both. We can vary both, which is pulse width modulation and pulse frequency modulation. Okay, chopper, we have two types. Buck, chopper, and boost. As we said that boost 
is step up DC power converter that convert input fixed DC voltage into higher voltage level. And this is, I mean, if we, I mean, the circuit for this is not this. There's another circuit for this one right here. We will change the location of the MOSFET and of the inductor and of the uh, diode, power diode. The location will change. We're not gonna look at it now. But if we derive the V out, that's what we will get. V out equals V source divided by one minus duty cycle. And duty cycle must be less than one. Otherwise, if this is one, we will have zero right here. So when we divide a voltage by a zero, it's infinity, and we cannot have that. Forgot about this. This one right here, okay? This one for next lecture, let's look at this buck chopper. So buck chopper is step down, DC is step down, DC. Let me cancel this right here, okay? Step down, DC power converter that convert input fixed DC voltage into low voltage level. Again, if we derive V out from this circuit, we will get this after derivation. derivation. We need time for derivation, and we will have no time to explain the derivation. You can go back and look at it. So V out equals V source times DC cycle. So you need to memorize this equation for the buck, and you need to memorize this equation for the boost. This is a circuit. This is our circuit. So this is the V-source, and this is the MOSFET. So the MOSFET will work as what? The MOSFET will work as a switch. The MOSFET will work as a switch. And this is the inductor, this is the capacitor, and this is the load, which is a resistor, and this is the diode. We can do one thing right here. We can erase. We can erase this and just put a, a mechanical switch because it will work as a switch. But that switch will be controlled by those techniques. So we can erase this. I can erase this. Okay. I can erase this and just keep the switch. Okay, so this is my switch right here. Mechanical switch. So I can close for a certain time, 50% of the time, 25% of the time, 30% of the time, 75% of the time. I decide. So this is my switch, which is this. So I can say that this one here is this. And that's for the gate. This goes for the gate. Through the gate, we can apply those techniques. Okay, let's see what will happen now. Actually, we will have two cases. We will have a case when we close the switch. When it's on, closed means on. And we will have another case when we open the switch. When we open the switch, means off. And when we close the switch, means on. So we will have two cases, let's see. Let's uh, let's close the switch, and I have to use I have to use colors, guys. So for closing the switch, I'm gonna use blue. Okay, so blue closing the switch, closing switch. Okay, closing the switch means on, means on. So I will close the switch, guys. Let's say what will happen, okay? I'm gonna use red for the current. This one here is I source, okay? This one here is I G or I Q, because Q is the sample, guys. Q is the sample for the transistor, okay? So Q is the sample for the transistor. Okay, this one here is Q. 
and we can say that this one here is V cubed. Okay, this is V cubed. Okay, so now the current will pass. Is it going here? No, because this is one way path. So it will go through the inductor, and this will be this capacitor will keep charging, and this is my load right here. Okay, so this one will charge, and also this will charge, and this is my load. What will happen now? So this is called charging mode. Okay, so I am charging the inductor right here. And the capacitor is also charging. This one will store current, this one will store voltage. So that's my first case. Okay, my second case will be if I open the switch. Okay, so green. Opening switch means off. So I'll open the switch. So what will happen now? What will happen? Yes, I have something still right here. So it will do what? It will release. It will discharge. So before I was charging this inductor, but now it will release, it will release through the resistor and then through the free wheeling diode, not free wheeling, yeah, through the diode. It will release through the diode and it will keep going like this till it releases what it has. So charging, discharging, okay? So this case, is charging and this case is discharging. So this one here is discharging case. Discharging case. So it will go like this from here. Right here. And this one right here, it will go from here. Okay. So the blue is the charging case. Okay, so this one here is charging case. Charging case. And the green is the discharging case. You can go back to notes or to the textbook. They put the they put the main circuit and then they have two separate circuits, one for the charging and one for the discharging. You can look at this. The, and the textbook or the notes. Uh, they're more clear maybe than this, but I like this actually with colors. Okay, let's see what will happen there. Okay. So here we will draw, this is the VEG, means the, the, the gate voltage. We need to give a voltage to the gate. We need to make it on and off, on and off. Either using pulse width modulation or pulse frequency modulation. This one here, again. This one here is through this gate. Yeah. This gate right here, it was right here. Okay? So pulse width modulation and pulse frequency modulation. So this is the gate. Okay? So the gate is on for 50% of the time. I'm using black. Better than 50% of the time. This is now this is T on, it's off, so it's on. Let me show you how it will be. For 50%, it will be one, two, three, four, five, and then open one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. That's when the duty cycle is point five. If the duty cycle is 
0.75 means it's on for 75. It will be like this. It will close so for 75%. So it will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 0.5, and then 8, 9, 10, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 0.5, and then the 0.5, 8, 9, 10, and so on. If it's 25%, it will be on for 1, 2, 2.5, and then 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and then close for 2.5. Okay, let's see here. So this is the this is the the, v, the gate, the voltage through the gate that we send through the gate using either pulse width modulation or pulse frequency modulation. Let's look at the V source. V source will be will follow the gate. Okay, it will be the same. And this is here. That's V source, and this is the V. This is the G here. The V, the voltage. So when there is a voltage. There is a source. So it will be the same, but actually it will be, the peak will be higher. Okay, so we will assume that this is higher, like right here. Okay, it will, follow. It will be the same, because if there is a voltage through the gate, there is a voltage here in the source. If there is none, there is none. That's V source. Okay, that's V source. What, let's look at the current here. Let's look at the current. What will happen to the current, guys? Here. Charging means is it going to decrease or increase? We say this is V source right here. And this one here, I out max. I want, I want you guys to see it clear. I want you to blame me. Say we cannot see stuff, but anyway, this is V source and slash. I out max. So when this one is closed, during this case, when this is closed, the current is passing through here. So what will happen here? It's increasing, 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 charging. So it will be like this. Charging. Then when the switch is open which is the green. What will happen to the current right here? We explained this before, the polarity will, the polarity, I have to put the polarity for you for the green, because the polarity will be negative. Actually this one, yes, it will be positive. It will be like this, the polarity will, will, the polarity will decrease. I mean the polarity will flip, and the polarity will flip, and the current will start decreasing. Okay, let me see here. Okay. So now, as we said, when this is open, the green, this will release and the current will start decreasing. So it will decrease, then increase, then decrease, then decrease, and so on. Okay. Yeah, so this one here is actually out. So I need to point that this one here is I out max. This point here is I out max. And this point here, this point right here, 
this point is I out min and there's uh, there's equations you can see in your textbook and notes to find this point and to find this point okay there's equations you will find them in your notes make sure you know those equations so you can find the I out max and the I out min okay let's look at the current through the through the uh, transistor through the MOSFET okay so we said this is I source this is IQ and this one here is I L and this one here is I out okay and this one here is I diode actually I diode that's like this I diode during the, the discharge the only time that we will have current through the diode here is during the discharge okay during the charging because the current cannot come here it will go back in the whole circuit okay um, Okay, so what will happen to the IQ and I source? It will be the when it's closed. When it's closed means during the blue case. When it's on, closed means on. So I will have current. So during this, I only have this current. This current. This one no, because it's open. So no current through the I source. No current through the IQ. So that's what I will have on here. And this is zero. And same thing here. And this is zero here. Okay. And this one here. And so on. I source, same as IQ. When it's closed, there's current. When it's open, there is no current. Okay, case I diode, which is this. This is the diode here. When we will have the current, the only time we have current through the diode is during the uh, green case, which is the discharging. So this here. So I have this. Sorry, guys. So I will have it right there. And this is zero here. Zero right here. That's the current through the diode right here. V diode, which is this voltage right here. This voltage, V diode, the voltage across the diode. And we know that when we have current, we have no voltage. When we have current through the diode, we have no voltage. But when it's open, then we will have a voltage, okay? So now we have current through the diode means that this one here is zero. So this is a diode, so there's current. And then diode, we know it's, a, it's the current is coming from the other side, from the negative. So everything is a flip. Even the voltage is a flip. So the voltage is here. Okay, the voltage is here, the negative. That's V diode. Okay. And when there's current through the diode, it's zero. VQ, VQ, the voltage across the Q. Again, when there is current 
through the transistor, there is no voltage. And we know that we have current through the switching, through the closing, which is the blue. So the current here, during the I source, is here. So during this case, I have zero up to here. And here I have zero also. And here I have zero. But I should bring it down, this one here. I think I should redraw this as I uh, close. So I will draw it here. I will use the blue for the lining. So to have the same theme. Okay. And this is V. DQ, the voltage across the transistor, which is this VQ. So as we said, since we have current through the transistor, it will be zero. So this will be here zero up to here. And there's current here, here, CIQ, I source. So current, so zero voltage. Current, zero voltage. And then should be in the positive, not like the B diode. So I will have it here. Or I can use different, different colors. So I'm going to use blue so to distinguish between this and this. So here. And so on. So that's VQ. The last one is the B source. So same thing, I'll bring this one down so I can see it. This is the B source I'm gonna use here. So I am assuming here that the duty cycle is 0.75. So I am assuming that the duty cycle is here. Okay, 0.75. And let's see, we will look at the duty cycle and also the current. So the duty cycle is 0.75. And we know that T is this up to here. That's my T. That's my T here. So 0.75 means it will be on for 75% of the time and then off for 25% of the time. Same thing here. It will be on for 75% of the time, then off for 25% of the time, and so on. What will happen to the current? Same as this, you see here. But now the current will be, the charging case will be more. And then the discharging, and then the charging here, and then the discharging, and then the charging, and so on. So this one here is I out. This is I out. Or we can say, uh, Yes, this is all I out, but this part here, this part is IQ I source, and this part is I diode. And if you want to draw V diode, it will be, you guys see this one here, it will be flipped. This is V diode here, flipped. So it will be flipped when the diode here is uh, conducting, it will be zero, and this big one will be flipped for V diode. Okay, this is. Uh, this is the book. Actually, we are in the textbook. Uh, you can say textbook. Page 196. Okay. So look at that. And notes. Page. Sixty-four into seventy-one. Sixty-four into seventy-one, and uh, next I should tell you up to which page to look at.
through 10. So to page 211. Okay, 211. So please look at those. This is in your textbook, page 196 to 211, and in your notes, page 64 and 271. Uh, also, I want you to look at the equations. Yeah, for the for the duty cycle, guys, as we said, this is the equation v out equals v sort times duty cycle. And the duty cycle, it's either, you can find it by V out, VC over V source, V out over V source, or you can find it by T on over T, T on over T. Here it will be 0.5 because it's 50 percent, and here it will be 0.75. Uh, equations, as I want you to look at those equations, page 70 and page 71 in your notes okay and also uh, in your textbook guys this those are the equations that I told you to look at um, in page uh, 202 okay there is equations i max and i min this is to find to find this point which is i max and to find i min we need those two equations those are, those are very important equations make sure you practice and this one here which is this is equation 611 and 612 in page 202 and here in uh, in page uh, 203 to find the minimum inductor for continuous current, okay? The minimum here, you guys see here, this is continuous actually current. So because we have a certain amount of inductor, we need a certain amount of inductor to get the continuous current. Otherwise, otherwise if the inductor, before, let's say it's very small, it will come here, it will be zero for a certain time, then it will increase, then it will come here, it will drop fast, then it will be zero for a certain time, then it will start, then it will drop fast, so there will we, have, we will have a gap and it will be discontinuous. So this equation here, which is 614, is to find the amount of inductor to get continuous current. This is in page 203, okay? And also in uh, page 203, this is the equation to find, uh, you know, the piece of the power, uh, the in input, same as the power input. And then this one here, you use, you use it in a transformer. And if we can get equation from here, which is I source equals duty cycle times I out, you can, uh, it's, in, it's in your notes. This is to find I source, I source equals duty cycle times I out. Um, also here, in page 205, you have two equations you need to look at, which is uh, 619 and 620. This is for the capacitor, and this is also for the change of voltage. Look at it, and I want you guys to look at example 6-1. Please look at, look at example 6-1, this is for buck. And they gave you the V source, they gave you the duty cycle, which is 0.4, and they gave you the value of the inductor and also the capacitor and the frequency and the resistance. Okay. And uh, that's it for this topic right here. I think it will be okay for this topic. Uh, let's see if I have anything like that in the notes. For the for the element, as I told you right here,
there's a, there's, there's a mistake in your notes. Just follow the, the one in the textbook. It says two element, actually it's two frequency, okay? To, to, but follow the one in the textbook. If you have, if you have any, sometimes, uh, this, is the, this is the mistake here that's in page 70. But as I told you, follow the, the, follow the equations in your textbook. Okay, this is, uh, this is the chopper, the buck chopper. Okay, next lecture will be about the boost, so you can read in advance. And uh, see you next time.